for the Digital Archiving Challenge, students are going to be getting involved in actually building something, um, in putting these seemingly nebulous digital archives, these collections of electronic information, they're going to start uh, handling information. So we've, we're working with uh, Tate, we're working with the Royal Albert Memorial Museum in town, the RAM, and we're working with Exeter Football Club. We have these incredible archives um, they're of physical objects, of memorabilia, of elements of heritage, of these historical items. And what we're going to do is going to be uh, showing students how they can start to network these things together in incredibly rich ways, tagging them with metadata, um, and actually how you start to build and curate a digital archive. Uh, the purpose of all of this is to get you thinking about how digital archives of art, heritage, visual and material culture can be explored. How we can use them to tell stories uh, and preserve histories. How we can get people to engage with cultural heritage and organisations. And how we can start to reflect on our own micro-archiving practices. And then what can you do with that information? So we're going to be making trails, we're going to be taking them out into the landscape, out into the world, and demonstrating the ways uh, in which this information can be put to use. And then during this, they're also going to be learning about the politics of uh, digital archiving. So what does it mean in terms of corporate interest, uh, in terms of copyright law, in terms of the different um, ways in, in which people try and take control of information?